Hello, welcome to my diary, beloved. I'm Tatami and I'm so excited. She made it. She made it here. This deck is just gorgeous. I supported the Kickstarter many, many months ago. It feels like forever ago. And y'all, look at that shine. Look at this. It's an experience. I was not ready. I was not expecting it to be in the mail at all. I was just, I had given it up, you know, like I kept checking months ago and then I was just like, whatever, when it gets here, it will get here. And sure enough, I was not ready in the moment when it got here. It is, let me not forget any of these, it is an experience. Let me show you. Okay, so first off, it comes with a little tiny black book. I just feel like it fits so well. Um, and each one is just labeled very basic, but at least it comes with a book. And <sighs> look at this deck, y'all. Oh, like, honey, look, it's like, okay, part of what I really love about this deck is that it does have the playing card deck elements, right? Which is very traditional. Um, play, uh, reading with the playing cards is something just traditional in black root working conjure hoodoo traditions. So I really, I've always been drawn to that um, and do have a deck somewhere set up for that. I have no idea where that deck is. <laughs> I do have a playing card deck somewhere though with like my notes and stuff on it, but I just have no idea where I put that. But at any rate, I, you know, it's just not my thing as much. I really do love the pictures and honey, you are about to enjoy this. Just, just flip through this deck with me. Oh my goodness. I can't, I just can't. It's so perfect. They went through and what you're going to see here is they went through the the congressional archive. So these are the free pictures of our ancestors that, um, you know, anybody can use. We got some lightning. Um, anybody can use these, right? And they, um, she went ahead and made them into her own art, made a whole deck, and I just love it. And what's cool is, is I was wondering, like I had some images that are a little more popular, you know, passed around in my mind that I thought were going to be used, but, um, so broom and then snake, but, um, these pictures just surprised me. Some of them I didn't realize were free images. Some of them, I, I just, you know, I just didn't know these crossroads. Like guys, look at this deck. This deck is ancestrally led. There's just no if, ands, or buts about it. This cotton, the mountain, y'all, y'all tell me you're not seeing this. Tell me you're not seeing this and loving this and loving this for all it's worth, loving this for all it's worth. And the best part is, is they do have, um, some other, you know, some, some other, like, like the person who made it is, is very entrenched in the culture. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, they're just, they're not like one of these people who's just here to make a deck and, and get the fuck out. There's somebody who's clearly into the culture, into the community. And y'all, Y'all, look at this deck. Look at this baby. Look at him. Don't you love him immediately? Look at these people. Uh, I There's just not much. I, I can't even, words can't even express at this time. And the readings I've been getting from it are very interesting, very on point, very ancestrally led, obviously. Like there, there's some decks where you, you just open it and the ancestral energy just washes over you. And that is very much the case for when I pulled this on out of that it was a, like a, it was a black like little thing and I kept thinking like oh like wh what could I have bought that would be in this tiny black package and I'm so used to decks coming in like they're all, often a lot bigger than this you know um the the cards it's pretty rare for for me to find a deck that's this much of a pocket deck like you could toss this into any purse you own and I think that's really cool because other decks often have these really big um oh I don't know if I had that upside down but um, but yeah, we have a Psalm here and I do like that it has some of that symbolism that our ancestors used uh, back then. Um, even if they were conjure people, root workers, whatever they, they worked with the Bible. You know what I mean? On this image, I loved this. Like this one is one of my favorite cards when I saw it. I thought that was perfect. Um, and then these chickens, I love that too. Cause you know, people put the chicken in the backyard so it will scratch up. Um, you know, whatever somebody has placed on you or the, the energy, uh, the chicken feet, right? And that's why we use chicken feet and, you know, your mojo bag and other, and other workings. So, um, yeah, 
I just love it. Then this one with the woman, and oh, I think I missed it, it, maybe. I passed it. And then this mirror one I thought was very cleverly done. Like, ah, this idea of you putting it as a whole one, like a reflection of you. Um, there's a card that I think I passed but already where it's like a little boy and his grandpa sitting, and I'm just like... <laughs> I love you guys. I love everything about it. You just, you feel so drawn to it. Oh, is that, is that an oil lamp right there in the middle? See, see what I mean? Like when people know the culture, they just know, you know, and when, when somebody knows you get something like this, that's just so ancestrally led. Speaking of which, I, I know this is for grandma baby, but I do want to say this other deck is also very ancestrally led. Um, the only difference is that this one is illustrated by a white woman but she clearly was told what to do there's no way a white woman would just draw these images that are in this deck you know there's just there's just no way they would they would just think like that there's just something very cultural and it's very clear that tayana lee mcdaniel oh McQu mcquilla sorry Ty tayana lee mcquilla it's very clear that she's ancestrally led. Very clear she was taught by somebody in her family. I believe she says her grandmother at the beginning of this. I'm not sure. At any rate, this one also will read you for filth. This one, what was the other one? Dust to Onyx. Um, th those are like my, I say those are like the OG of ancestrally infused decks. This just joined that group. That's what I'm trying to say here. This, the Hoodoo Tarot, the Dust to Onyx, and now grandma babies honey this is as ancestral as it gets like oh oh do you know what oh no but that one's not in commission anymore you can't buy that deck no more never mind anyway my point is is that there are very few decks where you just are like oh like this is ancestral ancestral and you know there are some that i i have not yet had my hands on so could be for example uh like what was the one i saw the other i saw one that was like animals and plants of africa by jesse jumanji she has two decks that i and i still haven't bought either one the both of those are 60 bucks 70 bucks so that's gonna be like next year probably i'm decked out for the rest of the year no more decks for your girl uh, you know if i if i bought every deck i wanted your girl would be a broke ass bitch like i just literally cannot but my point is is that of the ones i've purchased uh, those are the ones that just off the top of my head. And then, of course, there's like the Adinkra cards, but that one doesn't have like people, faces, that sort of thing. And um, I, of course, always recommend the history deck with uh, channels uh, deck because it's um, what am I saying? The, the, the history channels black history deck because it's cheap. Literally, that's the only reason I, 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 it's cheap and it works. It works really well. It works extremely well. I still haven't made a video on this one yet, but it, it works. It's one of the best decks just for using and getting that ancestral thought process down. It really works. I'm not sure what Black History, or uh, what the History Channel was doing, what the ancestors working through them. I don't know, but this deck really works and it's like 15 bucks. It's cheap. Whereas these other decks, they're going to run you. They're going to run you some money. They're going to run you some money. This one actually, you can get on um at like barnes and noble and stuff for a little cheaper but it's still gonna run you money you know what i mean um but it's worth it it's worth it honey please this i i was like in tears like just on my bed like this is just the most beautiful thing the most powerful thing this person really created a, a work of true art i am just so impressed by it i am so impressed by the words that they use in the booklet um and then when they, they, they dedicate it to their ancestors, to their family, to spiritual workers, and then at the very end, they dedicate it to everybody black. I love that. I just, it's, it's so perfect. And I've actually wondered why nobody took those free images from Congress and made them into a deck before. And I considered doing it myself, but I have, I'm just not like an artist in that way. I just don't have the eye for it really at this time, in my opinion, yet I'm just not good enough to be doing all that. Um, or at least not good enough to be doing it and selling it for any sort of fee. <laughs> so at any rate, that is my quick um, brief but full of love glowing 10 out of 10 review for Grandma Baby's Black Old Lenormand um, 
the Lenormand decks do have differences from them with the tarot deck, but I also see some similarities with this deck and tarot decks. So um, I'm not sure her choice for the Lenormand, but I like the style of this deck and easily it is in my top favorites forever, forever. I, this will be something I have in my bag probably anywhere I go for the rest of my life. Not shitting you. I just can't even imagine someone coming out with something better. I really can't. This one's just so portable perfect the bag is like this harder leather so it will actually protect the box which i think is awesome that it comes with the box and the bag um the box is a little flimsy i'm not gonna lie i'm a little scared i'm gonna rip it but other than that i am just blown away this this deck y'all this deck those hands that made this deck are just as sacred as it gets as sacred as it gets so much love for this i recommend it please go get it next time she makes another hopefully she'll start up her next cycle for for purchasing them and i'm gonna put down her information below as i see it but you're gonna have to go follow her instagram and figure out when you know because her website was like not quite up yet it doesn't have anything that you can click on you know like it exists but it doesn't have anything you can click on yet like it's just like be here soon or you know <laughs> we're still preparing under construction that type of thing so it's like bought and it's there and it's looks like her brand but it just doesn't say anything yet so at any rate i'm sure it will say something very soon i'm very proud of her i hope this deck is mass produced for everybody seriously i hope that this becomes like a bestseller for her because it should everybody should have this deck absolutely a billion percent i hope i made myself clear okay <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. May your ancestors and spirit guides be with you at every crossroads. And I will see you next time.